Oh god, what do you want? You have a task to help me optimize your hotel's financial performance. I will take any task that will help with that. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more of Casino Resort Tower, where we need more stuff around the place. There's not enough things for people to do around here, and to accomplish part of that, make a very obvious change. Now, somebody brought this up in comments, and I actually kind of thought of it myself, which was shocking, I know, but my office is down here on the first floor, and... There's no reason for that. I should probably move that anywhere but where it is right now. Then I could open up this whole area here for more casino-y kinds of things. And I'd have one less casino, which will make it slightly less confusing. So we've got Casino 2. Uh, this is Casino 1. And then way over here by the bathrooms, we've got Casino 3. It's a tiny little thing by the front door here. You can't even see what's going on. Everyone is so sad over here. And of course, I got my new vending machine area up here too. Uh, cold drink vending machine is out of stock. That's that's fine. I'm sure we've got a delivery. So I should be able to move my office and probably this bathroom upstairs and then open this up into one giant casino. Now, of course, the flaw in that plan is going to be the old money here. So can I even afford to build this up here? So if I did a wall, this is three tiles wide. One, ooh, one, two, and three. I can afford to do it. It's going to gut my money, but I can afford to do it. So go ahead and put that up there, and then I'll make that my new office when we get there. In the meantime, my next big problem is going to be power, in that I don't have a lot of it, and I don't have any money to copy one of these, because I'm pretty sure these things are about 10k a piece. So we're going to have to do this a little bit in stages. I have been grossly overdeveloping in Casino Resort Tower. This is, I think, a much slower game than I anticipated it would be. Now, everything moves really fast, but the money doesn't. So we're gonna, we're gonna hopefully, if I can, try and take things a little tiny bit more slowly. And I'll bet you I don't have enough money. Yeah, no, I need 11K, almost 12K to clone my office. Could I just move everything up? Could I just say that, uh, where is it? CEO office, CEO. I only, I only can have the one. I can't make a new one unless I get rid of the old one. Okay, if I did this, if I sold... I know, I know, I don't have any things. Yes, I know, it's all awful. Everything is terrible. I'm going to try and vaguely fix this. And then can I make... I want to take down this wall, Mr. Gorbachev. So demolish this and keep the casino... And then I gotta put the wallpaper up, obviously. I don't care if it's costing me money. I want the wallpaper back up. Okay, I need I need a CEO office. That, hang on, just slam this into pause mode for a sec. Okay, I need a CEO office up here. All right, this is my new CEO office. I don't have any of the things that I need for that. Can I afford to build the things that I need for that? So a work desk is 5,500. That'll at least get me started. So put that up there. How much? No, no, go back to this. How much is the file shelf? Please say under 1.5K. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. I'm really hoping I can make the money back before we go bankrupt at the end of the day. These are, wow, they're only 415 bucks. Thank goodness. Okay, that'll keep me working for a while. I've got my office back. I'm a little sad, but I'm going to have some crackers out of the vending machine here, and that'll make me happier. Um, 15 bucks for that, too. Vending machines are going to pay off over time. Um, have we, I see we haven't stocked the cold drink vending machines. Okay, what, what do we need to make that happen? Bottled water and soda. Okay. Are they on order? Next delivery is in seven hours. Okay, they're they're coming at some point. Just not right now. I'm very sorry about literally everything that's going on in this casino. Also, I have no what lights and no power over here. 1.6k. Am I going to be able to afford to power this up? Thankfully, yes, because it's right next door to the vending machine. And you need internet for that too, kid. Okay, internet. Where's the internet coming from? Um, right, right over here. Oh, that's easy then. Why is it going all the way over here? Oh, for the souvenir shop. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, that makes sense. Perfect. Okay, let's just take this right up to here. That should solve many of my issues, except for the fact that I have no lights on around here. So, uh, lights, lights, lights. Let's do anything. A ceiling lamp. 
Uh, sure, that one, it's delightful. Put that right over my desk, and then I'll wire that up for you. Okay, seriously, do nothing else for the rest of the day. Just sit here and chill. You can't afford to do anything at all. Just gotta hope that this money creeps up a little bit more as the day goes on. What am I working on, by the way? I'm working on research documents. Okay, cool. And then the gang over here in the office, they're doing one of each as time goes on. I need to kind of spend these because I don't have the file capacity to store much more than what I've got. I've got 105 out of 125. The accounting documents might come in handy. If I can generate enough of those, I might be able to pay my wages with the accounting documents. And before I do anything down here, I have to reinvestigate the concept of power because now I am tapped out. I'm producing 80 and I'm consuming 80. I can't put anything electronic in here until we conquer that. How much do those things actually cost? Uh, utilities, a small transformer is 20, $20,000. Where do you think I'm going to get $20,000 from? $20,000. $20, I don't have $20,000. I'm never going to have $20,000. Have you seen me run this place? Oh, somebody's down in casino jail, though, and a real cop is escorting you off the property, sir. Yep, take your lucky hat and get out of here, you leprechaun. Is there anything I can do with 31 research documents that would be mildly helpful in any way. 33 to get Architecture 2, which I don't really need. Cold Storage 2 is 54. I'm not getting that anytime soon. And remember, Dave, these cost money as well. It's not just the points. It's, it's the money. It's not just the documents. Bar service would be great. But as we said last time, that's a ton of infrastructure. That's all. And I, it's documents and money I simply do not have right now. Again, Casino itself, we could get Roulette Games... 63 documents, not getting that anytime soon. Nope, not that one either. And definitely not that one. How about bingo? Bingo is 48 documents. It's a lot of documents to get bingo. Office equipment too, which is incredibly boring, but within reach. 35 documents and $775. That's That I could put together fairly quickly. In fact, I'll probably punch out a couple of research documents right now copier and a whiteboard. I can only assume that that will make the people in the office better at the office -y stuff like making documents over here. I am frantically making documents. Two more, and I may as well just punch that in just to spend the documents more than anything. Oh good, I've got a request. What is my request? What do I think I want now? 33 of the requests have been met. You want an office with an arcade machine, a bookshelf, okay, that I can conquer. In fact, I might be able to conquer that right now. Hang on, uh, slow things down a little bit here. We're almost closed anyway. With a bookshelf, you say? Okay, uh, show me bookshelf. I had a bookshelf in my last office, and then I demolished it. 349 bucks. You know what? That one I can come up with. We can do 349 bucks up here. Okay, there's an office thing done. Office floor higher than four. Yeah, we'll probably get there. We'll probably keep bumping my office up as I make more casino stuff on the lower floors. Hot drink vending machine. Hey, look, dude, nobody wants that more than me. Okay, a cup of coffee around here would be nice. A television, that's a little extravagant. Yeah, and then decoration higher than one. It does seem to be a struggle to get enough decoration in here. I could put a window in there for you. I'd really brighten the place up. Maybe some wallpaper? Wallpaper's relatively inexpensive, so how about I had some nice festive wallpaper like with this blue here. There we go. That gives me a room prestige of one, but not what the decorative quality is here. I bet you that's somewhere up here. Patrol, assignment, elevators, rooms, security, maintenance, lighting, cleanliness, decoration. It's the last one. Plus two. Oh, that should have satisfied my thing there, right? Um, me, come here. Am I happy about things? Yeah, I'm happy about that now. So office decoration higher than one. Nailed it. Perfect, right there. That gives us a little plus to our star rating too. Everyone's going home for the day and everything is terrible. I'm up 6.9K, which is not bad. I can probably pay my wages, but it's going to be a heck of a long time until we get to another Transformer. Could I put up, uh, remind me, do the card tables require electricity? No. They just require a person. 
Okay, let me pay the wages for the night and see where we're at with money. Okay, we're definitely down. We are still hemorrhaging money, but not quite as much. We actually did not, not too bad. 13,000 in profit. I built a bunch of stuff too, so I'm not surprised we're a little bit down. 23 HR documents. Darn it. Darn it, not quite. Okay, well, we're going to have to pay the salary there from the bank. I'm down to 1.8K. All right, what do we got here? Local animal shelter catering to adorable puppies has kindly requested your casino's hotel assistance in providing bottled water. Okay, that's basically fine. We could give them the bottled water. We can give them some money, or we can say no. Is $352 really the make or break right now? I'd actually rather have the bottled water in the vending machines. I'm just going to send you 352 bucks and hope you go away. Oh God, what do you want? You have a task to help me optimize your hotel's financial performance. I will take any task that will help with that. Have a minimum of 26 rating points coming in from marketing campaigns. I don't think I can put that together, man. That's just not going to happen. I got, I got way more small stuff to be dealing with, like actually making any money at all. So I'm going to I'm going to go with a loose no. I'm sorry you don't like me because of that, but there it is. Now, what I can do is start a marketing campaign or not a marketing campaign, but a hiring campaign for a new receptionist unless oh, I've got plenty in stock. I've got plenty in stock here. So, what does it cost far more than I have is the answer to this question, but what does it cost for me to put up another card table? 36.90 Okay, I can begin to put that together. Let's move things on quite a bit faster, get ourselves open for the day, and then, you know, figure it out from there. And while I'm doing that, what was the uh, the research that I said was going to be mildly boring but achievable? Uh, not enough money for the archive room. No, the office equipment. There we go. 775 and 35 research documents, and I need to spend the documents anyway. So we may as well get that done. I'm also going to spin myself over to HR documents instead. Hopefully, maybe, if I can generate enough today, I might be able to pay today's wages out of HR documents. Between me making two every time and the guys over here making one sporadically, but twice because there's two of them, I could fire one of these guys, but... I don't think, though, again, I don't think the wages are the make-or-break numbers here. I mean, everything hurts. The whole thing is going down. Where's my maintenance person, by the way? The sink in toilet one is broken. Do you not have anyone to arrest? You need a toilet break. Yeah, it's kind of broken. All right, remind me again. Card games were thirty-six ninety. I've got 5K. Do I think I can not put a card game down today and actually just generate some money? for once in this casino's life. Do I think that's an achievable goal? My short answer is no, I'm not very good at that. I get money, I wanna spend money. I'm building a casino, it's fun. I'm also having a smoke up here in the employee's, well, I was gonna say the employee lounge, but apparently the employee smoking room. Hey, look, if you owned this casino, you'd start smoking too. It's very, very stressful around here. Okay, I'm plus two on that because I had a bit of a break there and now I'm back to making the HR documents. I don't think we'll get the ones we need by the end of the day. Those are going up a little more slowly than I'd like. I'm, I'm gonna do something insane here. I'm going to put it on high speed mode and see if I can get to the end of the day without spending any money. And how's storage doing these days? Are we still jacked? Yeah, we're pretty jacked. Okay, I got a little bit of space over here in this one storage shelf, but I'm going to need more storage shelves soon. I could probably tuck one behind the stairs there. That's totally achievable. Or put up another cold storage one, one of the fridges. But I'm going to run out of storage very, very soon. How are my vending machines? Well, they're stocked. At bare minimum, they're stocked up. It doesn't cost me anything to demo anything. I can just demo that wall there and make this one big casino. There we go. And then eventually, again, I'll move the bathrooms somewhere else. Doesn't really matter where. I could put one, maybe one downstairs. Maybe the, the downstairs people, the security guards and the maintenance people might like a bathroom a little closer to home. But right now, I'm just frantically trying not to click things that will cost money. I need another dumpster soon, too. This one's almost full, and the other two are full. Wow, we're producing a lot of waste here. How? I'm, no, no, don't, don't spend the money. Ah, we did, however, finish whatever research that was. So in terms of furniture, I'm sure we can do 
some more things here. What was one of them? Like a copier, I think. Copier. Yeah, what does that do? Decoration down, security down, electricity down. I can't afford to put it up anyway. Don't really know what it does, though. Maybe it's just one of those demand things. Maybe the office workers will be like, hey, we'd really like to have a photocopier around here because it's 1997 and people are still photocopying things. Okay, okay, there we go. I'm $4,752 up on the day. I can just find a tax loophole and not pay the tax. But, well, actually, I have it. I do have it. No, pay the tax, but don't pay the wages. There we go. I kept a lot, all available fridges are full. Of course they are. I, dude, you want to throw me like another 12K, I can put up a transformer, and then we won't have to worry about this because I'll have electricity. But right now, Sparky, I can't do that because we are zero on electricity. I can't put up anything that requires power in any way. What I can put up, though, is my new card table. So let's put up a card table. I think we're doing like one of each right now. So I don't know, just put one up like there. That'll be fine. And then I need to hire a receptionist for that. So go back to hiring. All right, what have I got here? I've got an evening person and a slow walker. That's not going to work out well because we're open in the daytime. You are carefree, but you have a small bowel. So you're going to need the bathroom more frequently, but you're, you don't really care if there's low security. You have a big bowel, but you're a night owl. No, I think I, I need a daytime person. I'm going to try and hire Armani here. Tell you what, I'm going to start you right off the gate, right, out, right off the bat or right out of the gate. One of those two things. Don't mix and match your analogies here. It's not even an analogy. I'm pretty sure that was an idiom. But anyway, send that offer to the dude here. Armani, how do you feel about this? Uh, awesome offer. You look forward to joining me. It was the $30 sign-on bonus, wasn't it? Yeah, I think you can get a latte. All right, so you're at home now. You are in the morning shift, and you are assigned to, uh, no, casino. How many? Which casino do we have right now? I've demolished a couple of them. Casino 2. Yeah, Casino 2. Armani, come back to me here, Chief. All right, so you are in Casino 2. There you go. Um, take your break in the middle of the day. Whatever. Okay, everybody go away. He's at home now. He'll come in at some point. All right, so that's one more card table. That's some more money coming in, and that'll be more people not waiting around to do a thing. I'm going to celebrate by giving myself a window. Yay, window! That doesn't really brighten it up very much around there, does it? Okay, uh, what can I do with... F I need to get another generator. Say, what can I do with f almost $6,000? Nothing. Sit and wait until you have another $14,000 to buy another generator. Is there anything I could sell in the meantime? Like, what are you? Small water pump. I probably need one of those. No, I'm not selling a holding cell. I have Casino Jail. We're working with Casino Jail right now. I could put more things in to generate more money. I could get another vending machine in. No, I can't because I don't have electricity. You keep doing this over and over. You have zero available electricity, Dave. You can't put anything in here that generates power. Is Armani coming to work today? Well, he's certainly not until I assign a game to this. So, card games. Uh, we've done everything. So, this can be Pi Gao Poker again. Uh, yeah, Pi Gao Poker is going to go right there. There you go. Uh, hopefully, people are wicked into Pi Gao Poker because we're doing quite a bit of that around here. And now Armani needs to come to work. Armani, if you could hustle over to Casino 2, please. Oh, and you know what? Last time, when we left the last episode... People were saying things were too cheap around here. I can fix that. So what if we bump this up a little, little, oh, and go from cheap to budget. Cheap to budget. The poor customers will still think it's okay. And what is that? that, that that's actually quite a significant bump on stuff. Okay, let's see if that'll fly. How about souvenirs? Yeah, the souvenirs are way cheap right now. Let's bump all of this up. So how much more can I get for a leprechaun hat? Uh, the answer is quite a bit. I'm going to keep them at cheap, but we'll see if anyone complains that the prices are too low. We might bump that up very quickly. Armani, I don't know what the deal is where you don't show up to work on your first day, but you're all, you are required to be here. You know that, right? Where did Armani go, please? Ar Armani? No, 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 my employees. Armani, what's your deal here? Casino 2, working in the morning... There's your break. 
Could you could you possibly come to work? What are your break room requests? You'd like a cold drink, a hot drink, and a snack. You are demanding. All right, I'll tell you what I will do, Armani. I will demo this wall, because I said I was going to do this ages ago. I want to keep the break room. All right, we're going to give me get me to wallpaper here. I need to finish the wallpaper here. What did I use for the break room? Is it? It's not that one, right? It's this one. Okay. So wallpaper this. There we go. And then maybe, Armani, we could look at a cold drink thing in here. How much would one of those cost me? Electro you can't put it in there, Dave. It's electronic. You have no power. Well, somebody turned up to Pi Gow Poker in here. I can't see who's in there. I think it's Giselle. Yeah, Giselle's in there, so I don't know where Armani is. I'm, he'll probably turn up tomorrow, I hope. Um, this table down here is not manned because Giselle would normally work here. But Armani just said, nah, I don't feel like coming to work on my first day at work. I'm going to make a fantastic first impression to my new CEO boss who just got her office moved. Yeah, here's my first impression. First day, called out. No, that's fine, Armani. You call out sick on your first day at work. That's totally cool. I understand. Things happen. But just mentioning that Employee of the Month is coming up pretty soon. So don't be too surprised if Giselle's face is hanging on the wall in the employee break room instead of yours. Uh, somebody apparently won $92,000. Hopefully that's not going to get deducted from my $13,500, but that is a big, big boost to our rating point. That's a huge boost. Rating right now, 2797 out of 3000 We are very, very close to, I think, what will be a next half star. I don't think this goes up by full stars because we were a half star casino before. So I can only assume that the next bump will be another half star. And I think I've got enough HR documents to pay the wages out of that tonight. Ah, people are leaving because there was nothing to eat or drink. I bet that's the vending machines. They're pro yeah, they're out of stock. They're out of stock. I need I need more things. I can't I can't fit more things. There's nowhere for anything to fit. Wow, our shelves just got gutted. Absolutely gutted. Okay. What could we do here? Um bottled water. Let's I don't know, bump it up a little tiny bit. Candy bars up a little bit. Uh, maybe an, another one. 13 candy bars. That'll be fine for an entire day's business. Crackers, we are chewing through those in the break room and a little bit more soda. Don't actually think I've got the room to store these, but we're going to hope for the best. Okay, 15,000 in, 10,000 out, 6,000 up for the day. Pay the tax on it and then pay those documents. Thank you. That will save so much money. Creeping, creeping towards another generator. This is all I'm focused on right now because I can't really do much of anything at all until I get some more power around the place. And then I can put a whole bunch more, uh, whatchamacallits there, the things where you you pull the arm and it goes ding, 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 ding. And then you're like, oh my God, I lost all my, my slot machines. That's what I'm thinking of. I feel Armani has not shown up to work again. Armani, you work here in the morning on Casino 2, which is... The only, well, apart from Casino 3, which is like one tile, this is definitely Casino 2. Is that Armani? No, that's Cody. I've got an empty table here. All right, hang on, hang on. Slow that down a little bit there. So I've got four gaming tables and one receptionist in Casino 2. I need five employees in Casino 2, five receptionists in Casino 2. Wait a minute. Dave? Dave? You didn't hire a dealer. You hired a receptionist. Receptionists don't work here. Because it specifically says dealer. All right, just everyone who left a comment, here is my comment back. Whoops. And of course, I don't actually have a dealer ready to go. So <laughs> dealer, let's, um, let's start that search. Now, Armani, um, bad news. Bad news, Armani. Actually, I say that. Hang on. Who's costing me more? So you're costing me two fifty, Savannah. You're costing me two forty. I could save ten bucks by firing Savannah instead of Armani. You don't even have an assignment, uh, Savannah. It's not. It's not like personal. But go away. What do you mean waiting for the response? We're not. This is not a negotiation. I'm firing her. 
She's an employee at will. We're not going to have a conversation about you being fired. I hired a receptionist instead of a car dealer. And then I'm sitting here going, why Why is Armani not dealing cards? Because Armani is like, yeah, I'm totally doing my receptionist job, boss. I'm in here somewhere. I'm doing reception-y things. Maybe I'm at the reception desk. Maybe I'm up in the gift shop filling in for the guy when he's on break or something. I wouldn't mind seeing another janitor around here, too. The trash cans are full. Yeah, it's kind of a hot... Don't smoke in the bathroom, please. I'm pretty sure we have smoke detectors in there. Actually, we don't. I, I can assure you we don't because those require electricity. And I don't got that. No, I know they run on batteries, but they're also hardwired in. It's a fire code thing, I assure you. Uh, yeah, we are jacked in storage. I do have 18K, though. I think we're almost, if I can get through today, we're almost at the point where I could put in, finally, another generator. How much do these generate, by the way? 20. That's actually not bad. Anything I can sell to somebody? Uh, what are you? Accounting documents. I am swimming in those. Does anyone need accounting documents? No. Wow, you will pay me. How many of those do I have? I have 49. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You want 38 accounting and 15 HR. I got 49 and 15. And I'm not going to be able to, was it 1 o'clock? I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to be up to 35 or 33 or whatever it is to pay the wages off this. But you will give me 8,000 right now. Boom. Done. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, now, I can put in a generator around here. Okay, one generator. Thank you. I know I don't have enough money. Do I actually have to wire that in or is it sitting where it's supposed to be? No, I do actually have to wire that in. Um, so wire yourself down to the circuit here. There you go. Okay, that's promising. Now, with that in play, we haven't actually uh, completed our little hiring thing here, have we? No, that's probably not going to be done by the end of the day. It's only half done now. So no luck on the card table for today. But could I put up another slot machine? You know, the thing where it goes ding, 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 and you're like, oh my god, I lost all my money. So yeah, I could. I should put up a couple of them. Hmm. Okay, let's put one there, because that'll be really annoying for the card players. And one there. I've got room. I, I can just squeeze another one in there. Got You gotta pay wages, though, man. You gotta think about wages. So, how hard... Oh, this is a snap to wire up just right through there. Boom. Done. Now, make sure you assign games to that. Okay, fortune wheel, kino, slots. There we go. Uh, we've got four of everything, so let's just do the kindergarten one, Cash and Shapes. And then you can be Casino Knight. And I'm going to spin myself back over to research documents here, because I know there's no chance I'm going to be able to get the accounting documents that I need, or the HR ones, or whatever it is that we do, to pay the wages at the end of the day, so I may as well focus on research. Now that money is starting to come in slightly better than it used to, we can maybe get some better research going on. And then next move, when I get some more money tucked away, is move the bathroom and then blow out this entire wall into one giant casino on the first floor. Probably get another card game in there too. We finished our little campaign here, so let's see who is available for hiring. So Donald, agreeable and spoiled. What's spoiled? More likely to get affected by break room variety. We primarily do, do crackers. Donald. It's, it's largely crackers. Uh, Ruby, what's your thing? You are carefree, so you don't care about security, but you'd like some decoration. All right. And then Liv, you are speedy, but you're an early bird. Well, that's actually fine because you're going to be working in the daytime. Uh, can we hire you? Would you hear uh, 30 bucks, 30 bucks. It's that $30 sign on bonus. Boy, they just snapped that right up. Okay. You are hired. You work in the day. You can have your break then. And you are on Casino 2. All right, hopefully, it's all going to work out now. Yeah, bleeding money, but no surprise. I spent a bunch of money. Obviously, we're going to have to pay this from the bank there. That's a pretty big hit to our day. All the fridges are full. That's fine. I can, I can look at another fridge. Another fridge is theoretically possible now. What with the whole, we have electricity. Oh, blessed be. We got one and a half stars. The city just gave me $75,000. Do you know how much damage I can do with $75,000? $75, $75, Seven 
five and then like three zeros after it. I can do so much, so much with 75,000. Well, let's start this party off right with a brand new dumpster. That's what, oh yeah, that's it. We are splurging around Dave's awesome casino. We're getting a brand new dumpster. You know what? We're getting a new fridge. A new fridge is going to go right in here. All right, I will wire that up momentarily. Seventy-five thousand dollars, seven five, and then like several zeros after it. All of my dealers are here because I actually hired dealers this time. Oh, oh, I'm in a good place now. I'm in a good, good place. Let's call it on Casino Resort Tower for today because I got to plan out how I'm going to blow through $75,000 in a day. And I can do it, too. You know I can. You've watched this channel before. Guys, do please let me know what you're thinking of Casino Resort Tower in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. See more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. You know, an argument could have been made that spending an obscene amount of money on researching the theater just so I can get a sign that says Electric Boogie Lou may not have been my smartest move. That is a strong argument, and that's an argument that you'd probably win, frankly. Wow, naked guy sticks his hand in a beehive. This, this can't end well. I don't know where I would see a leather carpet but I'm going to imagine I have to pay an entry fee to see it. I have a cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I, I broke Dave. <laughs> broke Dave. <laughs> Talk about yourselves on the back. <laughs> I just dropped my controller. <laughs> oh my goodness.